Hey everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Psyche Libertina and today we're gonna look at um, what is it na kailangan ninyong paghandaan. Para saan ba itong mga nangyayari sa inyo ngayon? What is it that you need to prepare for? So, um, I have your three piles for you to choose from. Yung first pile natin would be Orion's Animal Tarot. And this is your design. Back. So, pile number one, Orion's Animal. And then, itong pile number two natin is traditional manga, tarot. And so, traditional manga. And then, for pile number three, we have the Nicoletta Ciccoli tarot. Alright, so um, please feel free to choose, um, pause the video if you like, and it's absolutely okay to be drawn to more than one pile. And similarly, kung wala kayo mapili dito sa three piles natin, then definitely there isn't any um, reading for you on this video. So um, once you've chosen, head over down to the timestamps to see the clickable link for your video, and I will see you there. Hey there, pal number one. Thank you so much for being here. So if you chose etong Orion's Animal Tarot natin, this is gonna be your reading. Um, regarding kung ano ba itong kailangan ninyong paghandaan sa mga nangyayari sa inyo right now. So, let's check your oracle cards first. You have Astrology Destiny. Hmm. Sagittarius Energy. There. Okay. And then you have here Fire. Sagittarius Energy ulit. Seeing there. And then you have illumination in reverse. Huh. So water, um, which you don't have here because Aquarius is air. You have a lot of fire and then opposite is water. Okay. So mukhang, if anything, pal number one, mukhang you're being asked to prepare or whatever is happening sa buhay ninyo right now, this is something that you sort of wanted to do for such a long time or either it's something that you wanted for such a long time or it's something na ayaw ninyo pero kailangan na mangyari. We'll see from the tarot pero from how I'm seeing it mukhang nandun tayo sa stage na kailangan mangyari to, nalilito ka if para ba talaga siya sa'yo kasi um, if there's anything that's driving you here, it's your passion. Um, you know, it's it's what you really want to do. Pero parang feeling mo hindi nakikiayon yung panahon. Especially with a lot of water here. Although it's very still, syempre water is emotion. So, let's see. Um, let's draw how many cards? Well, let's draw seven. So, four... Five, six, seven. All right. Back of the deck, you have Death in Reverse. Let's see your cards. So you have the Devil upright, Capricorn Energy, which you have there again. So clearly cohesive nagad yung cards. You have Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. You have your Capricorn. Um, which is um, the ruler of the devil card. You have the empress. You have temperance in reverse, which is also Sagittarius. You have the ace of swords upright. You have the page of swords. So this is your air sign, Aquarius. <coughs> Excuse me. You have here justice in reverse and the eight of cups in reverse. Okay, so clearly yung destiny ninyo, um, if you're gonna look at the cards lang, you have your Sagittarius, which is your fire sign. Your temperance is also here. Yung Aquarius ninyo, which is an air sign. And dyan yung swords ninyo. Actually, swords, yeah. Swords, and then you have here... Um, the justice card 
which is ruled by Libra, which is also an air sign. Hmm. And yung ending ng reading niyo both speak of water, so emotions. And then you have here your Capricorn. Okay. So, what is it na pinaghahandaan mo? Um, I think pal number one right now, nandudun ka sa stage ng, ng life mo na parang feeling mo lahat ng nangyayari mali. <laughs> um, especially with, you know, the death card being here as your underlying energy. Yung kapag kasi naka-reverse tong death card, um, which is of course ruled by Scorpio and Pluto, it talks about, ano yung mga things na ayaw ninyong i-face. Could talk about things that you don't want to face, talk about things that you don't want to deal with. Um, basically, ito yung mga bagay na parang feeling mo paikot-ikot ka na lang. It, it could be na parang um, with the Eight of Cups being here in reverse, it could be something that you could try to parang ano, explore something out of you being an introvert. I think that although there is a light, lot of fire energy here, one of the issues that you have is masyado ka introverted before and you're afraid of making mistakes. With illumination here, I think na right now, there is a call for you to change your mindset. Bakit? Kasi, um, if, you've already, if you haven't heard of that saying na parang the universe gives you the energy that you give, um, right now with this illumination card being in reverse and also this eight of cups being in reverse, I think na one of the main problems that you have which is stopping you from getting the benefit of whatever is happening in your life is your own um, parang thought process na ayaw mong lumabas out of your comfort zone. Now, let's talk about your cards. So with astrology here and destiny, clearly it, just said, it says that this cycle that you're going through, all of these cards um, are happening. Kung ano man yung nangyayari sa buhay mo, all of those setbacks, yung mga tipong probably you could have tried to make a loan and then hindi mo siya nakuha at a certain time that you needed to take it. Um, remember that um, if you were, if it, if it didn't happen, kung ano yung plano mo at hindi siya nangyari sa panahon na gusto mo siyang mangyari, then it wasn't meant to happen at that time. So with the devil card being here, starting your reading, um, of course, there I think that parang when you did this journey, honestly, I think that it's something that, apart from it being something that you're passionate about, I have a strong feeling that at least for most of you, this has something to do with your livelihood. Could be about a job or about a business, but it, ito yung parang literal na parang, um, alam mo yung parang you take art school kasi mahilig ka talaga sa art and then you wanted to make a studio or like a cafe na... Um, where people can do art, do study or something. I don't know, that's just a very vivid thought. Um, could resonate for most of you. Pero um, with the devil card starting your um, your reading here, I think na nandun kayo sa stage na alam ninyo parang, alam ninyo kung paano siya gagawin, especially with the triangle being here, at a trine in and also tatlo din to, yung bilog na evident dito, um, in astrology kasi, di ba, you know, triangles, you have a lot of triangles. So, this means that whatever your actions are, they are cohesive. Kung baga parang, let's say, gusto mo, like, like that sample that I did, I gave earlier, o kaya, kung nwari, gusto mo lumipat sa trabaho, um, previously, you were working for, let's say, a bank. And then right now, gusto mong lumipat sa ibang field, let's say, event management, kasi yun yung passion mo, mahilig kang mag-host, or you like, you know, um, parang you like um, accommodating people or gusto mo yung nag-MC or something like that. Whatever it is that you're doing, if you got out of that job and then you applied and then you saved money parang to start your own event um, event firm, everything that you're doing is right on point. There is a certain fear on your side kasi feeling ninyo walang nangyayari. Especially with the Empress card being here. Um, your efforts right now, ngayon pa lang sila nagbubunga as in ngayon pa lang sila. And this is something na kailangan ninyong paghandaan. Siguro for the past, I don't know, for the past three to six months, probably, um, or, I don't know, a year and a half, it could be na, um, parang feeling ninyo walang pinupuntahan yung nangyayari sa inyo. Pero again, with the Empress card being here, 
um, and being clarified by the page of sorts, there is some benefit. No, not really some, but there is a lot of benefit to be had dito sa ginagawa ninyong to. Now, with temperance here, in reverse and justice, I think na um, you need to balance out yung pagiging conservative ninyo between being aggressive. Because right now, you're approaching the situation um, with your fire sign here and destiny na, okay, very positive, very go, 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 parang hala, 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 parang sige, parang fight, fight, fight ka lang ng fight, fight, fight. Pero remember, when you're trying to start something, you have to be smart about your decisions. You have to be smart about it. Kunwari, you have a certain savings sa gusto mo mag-start ng business. Hindi pwedeng if meron ka 50,000, uubusin mo yung 50,000 and you know, probably take another loan um, to start your business. I mean, some people do that, but for you in particular, you're being asked to, you know, balance out and sort of like be fair to all of the other things that you want to explore. Kunwari, you're, you're transferring to a new job, which could be true for some of you, especially with Death Card being here. Um, alam mo yung parang... I don't know, for some reason, kasi itong crab na to, eh, I don't know, just very particular message na, or crab mentality. Um, be careful lang siguro of how much information you share. Kasi some of you, especially with your cards here, um, and a lot of swords, masyado kayong, alam niyo yung communicative. <laughs> Parang everything that you want to do, lahat ng plano ninyo, nasabi na ninyo sa kapitbahay, sa kapitbahay na nanay ninyo, or sa kapitbahay na ang kaopisina ninyo, something like that. So you have to, you have to like hold on, hold back on that. And then with the justice card being here in reverse, huwag kayo masyadong pabigla-bigla with your decision. And yun yung kailangan ninyong paghandaan kasi very impulsive kayo file number one. Um, and I would understand because with the fire card here, you know, and Sagittarius being there, Sag Sag people, they really love or fire signs. They're more of like an act. Parang risk taker slash action doer, ganyan. Hindi sila yung tipong nagpo-pull back. No, they don't do that. Pero sa inyo, you're being asked to balance, you know, pushing forward and at the same time, being careful of each step that you make. Yung um, last cards ninyo dito, Ace of Swords and the Eight of Cups, you need to understand, um, you need to understand pile number one, na just, there are certain things that you have to do alone. Yes, you're an introvert, um, partly. I mean, for, for some of you, may pagka-introvert, but... Um, I think that right now, or most of you, hmm, ah, okay, I got it. I, I think na while some of you pull back and focus on this thing that you want, um, you want to do or you want to get or you want to have, there is a certain fear on your side kasi parang there is a, just to put it bluntly there is a certain fear on your side that you're not able to focus on the things that you need to focus on out of fear that people will not love you as much kasi nagbago ka um and i remember i i, I read this um parang quote um financial simplified ata yun na parang sabi nga nila disappear for 6 months and then hustle like crazy and I think that that is something na kailangan ninyong paghandaan. This journey will be very, very lonely, but it's gonna be all the more worth it. Because if you're gonna look at this destiny card, um, these are energies that are very like self-centered. You know, self-centered. Sorry for um, it's not self-centered. Very self-focused. Yun self-centered is like sort of a negative connotation at least for me right now they're very self-focused like Sagittarius is focused on life on enjoying themselves and you know making sure that they go for what they're so passionate about and then you have here Aquarius which are very focused on you know how their mind works and um, what do they want to happen how are they going to further improve themselves while influencing others and then you have here Capricorn which is of course focused on the things that you need to deal with um, and the things that you need to change. So right now, kung ano man itong kinaguguluhan ninyo na feeling ninyo, parang walang nangyayari sa effort ninyo, you have to change your mindset. 
pile number one. It's not just the mindset that you need to change, but it's also the behavior of how you react to things that are happening in your life. So, um, see, Ten of Cups, fulfillment. Once you get over this thing, once you get over this parang restrictions that you have for yourself, kunwari parang, you know, being afraid of not being loved, um, putting a balance on everything, kasi parang feeling ninyo kapag ka nag-pull ba kayo at nag-isip kayo ng konti, feeling ninyo you're going to lose a lot of precious time. Um, itong feeling ninyo na walang nangyayari, na itong ginagawa ninyo is not gonna take flight. So, you know, get over that and find appreciation na you know, things are just really gonna get better. So, um, let's ask Taro, um, ano ba yung kailangan gawin ni pile number one? What do they need to do para mas maging, um, para mas maging, kumbaga, I guess, happy yung journey, yung hindi sila ganitong nararatel na feeling nila walang nangyayari sa ginagawa nila. Let's pick five cards here. So, you have here the page of pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles upright. The Tower upright. And then let's get one last to fill this one. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Alright. So, um, yung advice sa inyo, um, pile number one. So first, do not be disheartened when things don't go your way. Because everything, like flowers, they take time to bloom. Hindi pwedeng pag nagtanim ka ngayon, parang pag sinabi mong tumubo ka, mag-flower ka or something, mag-bloom ka, bigla na lang siya mangyaring ganun. You need, um, you know, you need a lot of things to work. Like, you know, like literal, like flowers. You need sunshine, you need water, you need a good soil in order for you to thrive. Hindi pwedeng um, etong ginagawa mo right now you feel that you've done everything and you actually have. The Queen of Pentacles being here, I think na parang nandun ka na sa stage na um, you've already invested whatever it is that you can invest. And the fact na yung Queen is falling right here with the Empress, both very feminine energies. Um, and you know what's funny? Kasi, um, anyway, it's a different thought. Pero, um, as I was saying kanina, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse being followed by the Queen of Pentacles. And you can see itong Queen of Pentacles looking at the page. So parang kumbaga, wag kang mainip. Wag kang mainip na mag-transition. Kasi even giving birth, alam mo ba yun, hindi naman pwede parang, I don't know, pag nakaramdam ka ng labor, parang five minutes after, less than five minutes, yeah, anak mo na yung bata. So it's just gonna end like that. It 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 doesn't really work that way. At least for this, um, hmm, mga sumama to ah. Seven of Cups. Okay. So, um, it, it really just needs time. And with this one joining here, itong the tower. Okay, so, um, again, you're being called to change how you're doing things or the amount of effort that you put into doing something. Kasi right now, parang, let's say may trabaho ka um, and then you're doing a business or you're trying to, I don't know, parang siguro magsimula na negosyo. Um, pero, inuubos mo yung time mo sa pagsisimula na negosyo na papabaya mo yung trabaho mo. So, you need to find that balance and that's something that you need to change para makatawid ka into this three of pentacles. Kasi, there is a still, there, there is, there is still a lot of work that needs to be done. But it's something that will be guided by these three pet principles. See, you have a lot of things. Even your, even you ha here, you have a lot of triangles. You even have three air signs. So, three for this one. Um, three is, you know, the number of, um, three is the number of healing. Three is also the smallest number at which you can create a pattern. So, I think na itong ginagawa mo to, whenever you're so passionate about it, it's something na parang pattern mo na. When you're passionate about something, hala, sige, itutuloy mo nang itutuloy yung gusto mong mangyari hanggat sa parang masyado ka nagmamadali, makakasawaan mo nang ituloy-tuloy. But again, progress, they're just really like literally small steps that, that um, when compounded would mean success. So, um, once you've cleared this bit, yung kumbaga focusing and just dividing efforts accordingly, um, I think na parang 
with this card here, dun mo mapapagsabay-sabay yung mga bagay na kailangan mong gawin. Kasi, to me, it's very clear here na this reading is for, you know, or, or for the viewers who want to start something apart from what they already have. Hindi siya tipong you're starting from scratch. It's something na parang kumbaga meron kang gustong idagdag sa kung ano yung meron ka na. And right now, wag kang mainip, balance your energy, just, you know, um, tipong kalma lang. Magkakalma lang, mag-effort ka, pero wag yung sobrang parang naaagawa na yung mga ibang bagay sa buhay mo na kailangan mong paglaanan. Everything will work out. Um, these energies, you can look them up, you can Google them, you know, Sagittarius, like, join your passion, being focused on yourself, and just, you know, making sure that you're continuously progressing. And not to be afraid of making mistakes, not to be afraid of a little delay, wag kang masyadong magmadali. All of those elements are gonna work para magkaroon ka nung understanding, energy, and coping mechanism na lahat ng mga ginagawa mo and however many they are and how many ever you want to keep, you can do them all at once but not right now. So, kailangan ninyong paghandaan yung mindset, yung behavior, and you know, you just really need to make a conscious decision na if this is really something that you want, then don't be disheartened and just, you know, give to the universe, the kind of energy that you would want to receive, which is probably hopeful, you know, happy, balanced, and really, really patient. So um, that's it, pile number one. Thank you so much for staying with me, and um, I will see you on your next reading. Bye! Hey there, pal number two. Thank you so much for being here. So if you chose etong um, traditional manga tarot natin, this is going to be your reading, kung ano ba yung kailangan ninyong paghandaan. Um, ngayon, dito sa um, mga nangyayari or na-experience ninyo right now. So, let's take your um, oracle cards first. You have Ogur Mastery. And then you have Jupiter Grow and Expand. Okay. And then you have relaxation in reverse. Hmm. Okay. Um, you're being taught something. Um, file number two. You're being taught to take it slow. The energy is very similar to file number one. So... If, that, if you felt drawn to pile number one as well, then most likely, kailangan nyo i-check out din yung pile na yun. So anyway, let's ask Spirit. Um, Spirit, what is it na kailangan paghandaan yung pile number two? What is it that, um, you know, um, you need to take care of? Anong kailangan nilang gawin? Let's put the king of swords there. Back of the deck, we have two of cups in reverse. So let's take it all. You have here the Queen of Swords, first card, Ace of Wands, right? Hmm. So again, mastery. You have the Queen of Pentacles upright. You have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Hmm, I kinda get it. You have the Magician upright. You have the Moon upright. The Sun. And the Two of Swords in Reverse. Okay, so, pile number two. Um, what do you need to prepare for? I think as in a right now, 
pile number two, especially with two of swords being here and the two of cups being here, you are being prepared to make a decision that will involve, I think it has something to do with your, ano, parang self-preservation. <laughs> Kumbaga kung paano mabawasan yung mga stress na nangyayari sa buhay ninyo ngayon. I think that right now you are very worried about your finances um, or yung probably yung trabaho ninyo which is why I said na parang this energy is very very similar to pile number one. Pero what's particular about this pile is you already have your three queens. And the only queen that's missing is the queen of... In your swords, pentacles, cups, wands, the queen of wands. But you have here the ace of wands. Meaning, um, right now, whatever it is. Okay, so first, let's start with your oracle cards, okay? So with ogre and master here, and then you have your Jupiter and the growth and expand. Um, I think that you've been in a situation before na parang you felt like you were floating on air. It could, honestly, parang for some reason, I feel that this is a love reading. Kasi um, it's as if you are left out in the open to fend for yourself. Um, I think that for women or for whoever is watching this video, um, I, I think that you were placed in a situation where you were asked to just really be the parang foundation of the relationship. Um it's a very sad it's a very sad energy actually kasi parang why do you even have to why do you even have to prepare or why do you even have to parang work so hard to be in someone's life. Um with Jupiter growth and expand here, if you know but um if you are aware parang diba si um si Jupiter as a god um I forgot Juno is the wife, pero Juno who was a very loving wife, um, was very disappointed most of the time um, dito kay Jupiter kasi madami, babaero siya, in short. So, um, sobrang babaero niya na parang he just really wants to like explore and really, you know, just prove that he is, you know, he's a, the god of gods and talagang parang, I mean, if he can take it, he will take it. And with Ogre um, Mastery card here, I think na parang you feel na with this image here, alam mo yung parang siguro ilang beses nyo nang tinanong sa sarili ninyo na parang you've been working so hard. You've given everything that you can. You've put so much effort into the relationship and yet you parang feeling nyo na parang na use and abuse na kayo na parang lahat na lang ng ginawa ninyo kulang pa. So, very Juno yung energy. Um, and especially with your three queens here and your fourth queen or the last queen that's missing being the Ace of Wands, I think na parang all of these, you balancing out accepting tr the truth and you, kumbaga parang just taking whatever is being given to you right now. The Queen of Pentacles can talk about, you know, how much you're holding your family together. And I am sorry if, if this will not resonate for most or for all, or if people will find this very offensive. But sometimes, you know, you just really have to stop thinking that you need to be in a crappy situation just because, you know, you have kids or whatsoever. I mean, that's just me and this, I'm just reading cards. But you need to balance out what is actually good for everyone around you. What is good for you? What is the truth? And what is it that you can control? What is it that you hold? What is it that you can let go? What is it that's going to give you hope with the bunny over there? Do you need to hop away? Or do you need to just, you know, stand your ground and really just try to decide whatever it is that you want to do? Kasi kung mapapansin niyo yung two queens na to, and even this queen of cups, which is in reverse, so it talks about, you know, being too involved in your emotions, being too melodramatic or over parang over over worried about a whole lot of things they are all looking at this ace of wands meaning that you have to balance out everything your thoughts you know um the life that you live your lifestyle and your emotions in order to get a new chance at something that is waiting for you 
there is something there is something and there is something good that's waiting for you because if you can see here there is a balance you know a dog and a wolf then you have your lobster in fact when i saw this card kanina i was thinking hmm lobster shala naman so parang if you're worried about your finances if you feel na parang if you get out of this relationship you're gonna be financially drained i don't think so um pile number two if anything baka if you get out of this relationship a whole new set of things um uh, will will find you. You're just gonna let it catch up with you. Because right now, while you're forcing yourself to be better every single time, what you actually need is to detach. To detach, to relax, and to literally just understand. Think. With the Queen of Swords being here, think of what it is that you really want to happen. With the Sun card here, ayan no, the Sun card, diba? I did say kanina, para nung unang part, para you could be worried about your finances if you are especially for single mothers or for mothers or even for dads who are the you know the the, the housewife or the husband who feeling you know um leaving this stable or financially or, or practically or worldly stable relationship that you have is going to you know, um, defer you from the positive life or the happy life that you're supposed to live. And don't think that way. Because if you can see, yung Queen of Pentacles dito, if you can see her throne, it looks to me na para siyang bones. So it's not only empty, it's it's dead. So parang why would you want to stay in a relationship na, oo, sige, maalwan ka. Oo, sige, naiibigay sa yung mga bagay na kailangan mo. Pero... At the end of the day, they're just really dull. So if you can see, normally sun cards they have sunflowers, and for this one, yung sunflowers dito sa inuupuan nitong image na to, it looks like a crappy sunflower. One na parang I don't think these are real sunflowers. If anything, mga paper moshi moshi or something. Um, and whatever will bring you that happiness is something that is not with you yet. It's something that you need to aim for. It's something that you need to get. Now, with the Two of Swords being here and the Two of Cups both in reverse, you know, stop being scared of making a situation to walk away and choosing someone or yourself or probably your kids over this situation that doesn't work for you. It could be na wala kayong kids or anything, but there is a choice that you have to make. And that, in fact, this choice could simply be walking away or staying. And the fact that both of these are in reverse, um, it, it's, ano yung nagpipik na yun? Six of Swords. See? Moving, moving forward. Moving forward, Six of Swords talks about an is an energy that you need to, um, like literally move from one place to another in with high hopes that yung pupuntahan mo would always be something better. But it also has an energy na it's draggy, kung baga magbigat, parang ang dami daming kailangan mo deal with ang daming hanash. So, um, that's one. And then with the Magician card being here, um. And siya yung walang clarifier for some reason, you know. At the end of the day, we write our own destinies. You know, parang we are given a certain set of cards that we can work with. At least I'd like to believe it that way. Pero just because you were given like a shitty card for this year doesn't mean that you can't try to make it better. Kasi life, if anything, isn't perfect. Pal number two. And you will always have those situations where parang you feel na it's just not enough. Parang ano pa bang ginawa ko? Parang nangayayat na ako dito sa pag intay para dumating ang isang bagay na hindi naman ibinibigay. Kapag ka ganun, gusto mo ba talaga nandun ka sa ganun sitwasyon? You have to ask yourself, is it even worth it? Um, are you just, yun, kumbaga parang, are you supposed to focus on yourself? Or just focus on this person who's, who just really, you know, who's just really stroking their already fragile ego with the fact that you choose or you decide or you consistently and continuously still take the crappy behavior that they give you. So in short, pile number two, you are being called to step into your power um, as cliche as it may sound. But really, there is a lot that's gonna open for you, but you need to understand the sacrifice or this decision that is required for you to make. For as long as you do not understand kung ano yung kailangan mong gawin, for as long as you do not understand that you can just get out of this situation, um, 
na kinalalagyan mo ngayon, um, I, 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 um, you're really not gonna get what this do for you. And remember, it's time bound. Because with with you know with the glass here, any any time it can shatter. Kapag ganon mo na, alam mo yun parang natamaan lang yun ng ng um whatsoever. So um yun yung kailangan mong paghandaan. This is what you need to prepare for. You know, unang una your intellectual, your you know your um, your emotional everything na basically what you need to prepare for is things that are intangible. You know, your thoughts, your feelings, and even with the pentacles here, I don't think that this is like really, really money because money will come to you if that's your problem. But you really need to, you know, think of what you hold dear. What is it that you value? So um, let's ask Taro um, right now, kung ano ba yung kailangan mong gawin? Although it has already been said, why don't we, we check na lang kung, ah, alam ko na. Why don't we check kung ano yung one set is decision A and then decision B. Whatever it is. Anong, um, spirit, what can you say about um, pile number two's decision A? So, let's pick three cards. This one. And then, how about um, pile number two's decision B? What can you say about them? Spirit, this one, and this one. Okay. So, let's talk about your decision A first. You have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm. Family. You have the Seven of Wands in reverse. And you have the Hierophant in reverse. See, family, marriage, fighting for it, and then your family. So, clearly... Etong um decision A mo would be you know just really staying for really staying in the situation that you are in for the sake of family and continuously just you know um parang endlessly fighting for it to the point that it's already exhausting it's not just, it's not actually just exhausting it's parang for lack of a better term, it's almost useless. It's about you're trying to save this marriage or this covenant that you have with someone or this agreement or this contract that you have with someone out of faith that they will change or your situation will change. But like I said kanina, the magician card, tayo lang talaga yung may hawak ng sarili nating destiny. And on your option B, you have here the full in reverse, the page of wands in reverse, and the empress in reverse. So see, again, motherly love, very queen, very feminine energy. You have here the page of wands, and you have here the ace of wands, which basically say the same thing. So etong option B mo naman is, you know, giving yourself a fresh start, which may be scary. That's why it's in reverse, which may be scary and probably it's not something that you want to do. But this, with the dog here looking at the page of wands and the page of wands looking at the full in reverse para sila nagtitinginan, it could be very possible that you can even have, you know, a new love life with this one. You know, um, this is this looks to be a female and this looks to be a male. Again, those are just energies. Um, pero clearly, it is a pair. But it's something that you need to do, something that you need to take. If you want a fresh start, then kailangan mo magsimula. You're not going to have a fresh start if you'll keep on being stuck in the same situation that you've been in for God knows how long. And with the Empress card being here in reverse, looking at these two, there is something, and, and this Empress falling dito sa magician, ha? There is something that will bloom out of this. The Empress card is, a, is such a beautiful card. Upright or in reverse, there could be some delays because it's dependent on you making a decision to change or to start anew. Pero, pero still, with the Empress card being here, there is something that will come out of this choice of you being able to walk away from this thing or this parang, let's just call it something that you're fighting for, which... The, which seems to be very stressful, 
parang hindi siya natatapos, the issues are just getting worse and worse. Parang alam mo yung parang one issue ngayon sa isang araw, isa na yung problema mo, and then the, the following days, parang siyang nanganganak. That, um, either that, you choose this one, or you choose to stand your ground and really just take this chance to, um, you know, to move forward in life, to give yourself a new chance at just possibly possibly being happy so um that's it file number two thank you so much for being here and i will see you on your next video bye hey there file number three thank you so much for being here so if you chose ito nicoletta chicoli taro natin um we're gonna look at what is it that you need to prepare ano ba ito nangyayaring ito ano ba kailangan yung paghandaan so let's check your oracle cards first you have phrenology certainty Hmm. Interesting image to get. It's the first time na nakita ko tong card na to on a reading. Um, and then you had two of these. You have Neptune, Dreams, Dream and Transcend. And then you have South Node, Destined to Release. Hmm. Post very water. And then you have simplicity in reverse. Hmm. Overthinker in the house. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, look at your look at your tarot and see. Neptune because it's a very reserved energy. And then you have here the South Node. It talks about releasing something. This is this was about withdrawing inside. Hmm. Okay. So spirit, um what is this thing? Kailangan paghanda ni file number three. What are they they being prepared? What are they being prepared for? Here you have here the yeah Queen of Cups in reverse. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, fine. Nine. Thanks for that. Back of the deck, you have here the Ten of Wands. All right. So, Three of Swords. Heartbreak. You have here the Chariot. Cancer Energy. And I know we did have the Moon. Kanina. And then you have here the world. Let's move it a little, ha? Para kasha. You have here the world. And you have the three of pentacles. Queen of wands. Four of cups. Five of Pentacles and the King of Swords in reverse. I knew I said overthinker in the house. Pero yeah, panic at the disco yung energy nito. Okay. I think I said with certainty being here and your card ending. With the uh, King of Swords in reverse. I think that right now, um, pile number three, you're being taught by the universe to let go of control. With South Node being here and Neptune being here. Um, I think kasi na 
after all, okay, so let's look at your oracle cards first. Neptune rules the hanged man, um, which in tarot talks about, you know, stillness, um, just really letting things flow, parang, you know, just hanging there for dear life, na parang waiting, waiting on things. I think kasi na, with certainty being here, um, and the King of Swords being here, I think kayo yung tipo ng tao na parang gusto ninyo, sigurado na yung lahat ng mangyayari. Kung baga, and probably, um, some of you, sorry for the noise, um, some of you are very psychic, some of you really enjoy yung mga ganitong divination art, and probably why you're watching this video, kasi you like knowing what's gonna happen, but this thing, that's happening right now or in the works. I know na kanina sinabi kong the chariot is being ruled by Cancer, which is ruled by the moon. And I know na yung mga selective selection cards natin kanina talks about the moon. Things that we are supposed to prepare, prepare for, things that are hidden from us. I think that right now you're being given, you know, um, para na yung brain exercise na binibigyan ka ng brain exercise to accept that um, you're not gonna know everything file number three. And I think that's something that um, ginagawa ninyo for the longest time. Um, give me a second kasi uh, I think na parang you're not um, I don't know why, but for some reason, file number three, I'm having a very strong feeling that this is a love reading. Huh. Okay. And this is a very specific energy. Um, I, I, I'm not sure if, like, everyone can resonate with it. Pero it could be that for some of you, ito yung mga tipong you were in a relationship, ready to be married, ready to be engaged, and then this person suddenly walks away from you. Parang just really, you know, parang nirambol lang bigla yung mundo mo. It, it, it's not na parang siguro, I mean, for, for some pwede hindi naman, you know, relationship. Pero this energy talks about something that you're very, very sure of. Talagang pinaglaanan mo ng panahon, pinag, kumbaga pinag-ipunan mo, pinag, umasa ka na talaga na magiging okay to. It could be na parang some of you wanted to, let's say, go abroad and then talagang ginasa sa na ninyo only in the end to find out na it's not really working or it didn't really work or, you know, parang it's not working the way that you want it to work. And with certainty being here and Neptune, kanina ko pa sinasabi na parang you're being taught na hindi lahat ng gusto ninyo mangyari at the time na you want it to happen will happen. Let's talk about your cards. You have here the Queen, um, the Queen of Cups in reverse, followed by the Three of Swords. So it's sort of like, and these both of these cards are very, very sad energies. Right now, ha, if you can see, parang pareho silang piket. So they're not. So right now, you're not able to see the the blessings with the butterfly being here. You're not able to see the blessings in your loss. Um, I think that right now, parang a, a lot of things were taken away from you. It could be na you know the security of financial stability. It could be na the security of having someone with you or being in a relationship that parang sort of security blanket na oh you're gonna have someone or someone's gonna be with you while you deal with all of these things you're being asked to release that kasi for this specific um for this specific um reading you're being called to focus and believe um in yourself and in your capacity and capability to do things for your for yourself or for uh, you know uh, by yourself kasi um Right now, I think na parang you're not able to move forward with the chariot being here, see? Parang hinuhold niya masyado yung baby na tipong um, hindi siya maka-move on or hindi ka maka-move on in a way that you want to move kasi masyado kang dependent on, on other things. And ngayon na nawala yung safety blanket mo, it could be, you know, this breakup. There is an energy of breakup or separation here. It could be that you lost your job. It's really just an energy of loss. You cannot move on from this energy of loss. Kaya tuloy na delay ka. 
you're just stuck in this whole bubble right now na parang hindi ka na makaalis doon kasi parang feeling mo there is no hope for you now this is three of pentacles being here and um and the queen of wands in reverse i think na for this specific instance you're being called na you have to find joy in solitude yon file number three, you're being asked and you are being taught and ito yung kailangan ninyong paghandaan because the coming days are gonna be lonely. They are going to be sad. They are going to be difficult. But at the end of the day, it will make you stronger. It will definitely make you parang kumbaga more callous and, you know, it will really parang, <laughs> you know, it will have its own burdens. This, 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 part of your life really just won't be as happy as you want it to be. Pero, whatever the outcome, di ba sabi nga nila, no one's all the wiser. Maga everybody, no one's all the wiser, everybody's the wiser. These experiences that you have right now, this feeling of loss, yung feeling na parang feeling mo pinagtakwilan ka or pinagsakloban ka ng langit kasi parang people betrayed you, people left you, you're being asked to let that go. You know, let um let whatever emotion you're feeling right now, yung kaya kasi nagkakaganyan pa number three, I think na parang you're very kaya yung tiba ng tao na pag manonood ka ng movie gusto mong, pano, gusto mong magbasa ng review on Wikipedia so panoorin yung mga trailers because you want to know what happened what happens you're, you're this person na you just really want to be ahead of everything. But for this specific instance, it's really not going to happen. Because this loss that you have, or you had, it's really something that just really shook you. And I, I look at the timer of my recorder, and when I looked at it, exactly 11.11. So remember, na parang you're being reminded that there is a benefit, or there is, you know, there is some joy that you're supposed to have when you lose something. When you lose something, it's not just na parang, na lang, nawala na lang siya. Parang alam mo yung parang ice cream, ayan, natutunaw na lang siya. Pero, you know, there's really nothing to it. Parang puro loss, puro grief, puro sadness. Your cards here, um, ayan, pareho silang crying. Pag hindi crying, sad, pikit. Diba? And, and now I, I get it why I chose this um this deck for you because the Nicoletta Chicoli Tarot, um it's it's had a lot of parang criticism ganyan, about the design because it's very parang hindi mo akong dark dark daw pero if you dark yung images like the faces they're very straight face but if you look at the images I mean who's not gonna happy with but who's not gonna be happy with butterflies with you know a pony with parang candy house ice cream so um i think na for you in particular um file number three kailangan ninyong makita itong bagay na nawala sa inyo as something that will be freeing for you it could be na this sets you free from you know financial problems could be that this will set you free from being very very stressed it could set you free from you know parang having you to overthink about certain things. Kung baga, parang lagi ka ba namumublema na mahal ba niya ako or something or lagi ka bang namumublema na um, parang hindi siya nagsasabi ng totoo. So you're being freed from that and you're being prepared to handle it like a boss. Kasi your, your first card here is a queen. Your last card here is a king. So clearly... You're being asked to balance your thoughts and your emotions, which currently sabog siya. Sorry, but yeah, that's just really the truth. So let's look at kung ano yung kailangan mong gawin. Okay, so let's check. Um, Spirit, ano ba yung kailangan gawin ni um, file number 3 dito? Kasi parang I feel that they're very unsettled about things just being simple na parang so ano, gano'n na lang yun. Nawala, nawala si ano, nawala yung ano, papabayaan ko na lang. What are they supposed to do? Three, two, three, four, five, okay. So you have here the Knight 
of Wands in reverse. Hmm. The Fool card. Four of Wands in reverse. <laughs> the Moon, again, falling here, right? The Chariot. And the Two of Swords. Okay. You may feel that you're walking on a very thin line. Pero this journey for you will be, you know, very enlightening. Feeling mo parang malalaglag ka, but you're doing a good job. Pile number three. Konting kapit na lang, makakatawid ka na rin. So let's talk about your advice. You have here the Knight of Wands and um, the Fool card. So the Knight of Wands... Um, Normally, is an energy when it's in reverse, it's restless, you know, parang it's very impatient. And the fact that it's here, and then meron kang destined to release, and you have your simplicity, you're being asked to, you're being asked to just really, um, sorry about the noise, you're being asked to just really, parang, let go of wanting to always be in control because you're being given this chance to start again and have a more positive experience or you know parang feeling ko talaga love reading to parang really it's you're just being given a chance to at you know a chance a new chance at love but it's something that you have to take feeling mo parang kung mapapansin niyo four wheels four wheels if you feel that you're not going if you feel that you're not you're not moving, then what kayo masyadong mag ano? What kayo masyadong mag worry? Kasi the the pacing may not be as quick as you want it to be, but every small step is still a step that takes you from one spot into another. Kahit baby steps pa yan, you're moving. Hindi mo lang siya ganun kapansin at, the, at, the, at your view. Kasi ikaw yung nagbe-baby steps doon. Pero I'm pretty sure that other people around you, pro, you know, they, they're telling you that you're doing so well. Hindi mo lang siguro napapansin kasi nga, you know, you're, you're so used to just being very sure of certain things. And since this is something that's new to you, parang medyo unsettled ka. Pero clearly... Para silang parehong nasa candy land oh, na iniipit sila nitong new chance, nitong restarting, which is your full card. And it's even falling here sa heartbreak card mo, which is your three of swords. And with the moon card being here, falling dito sa um, chariot card mo, which is ruled by the moon, it's just an affirmation that there are things that you're yet to find out. It may seem ugly right now, but you can go through it. You will survive this. Hindi mo man siguro nakikita na you're surviving through it, feeling mo parang naluloka ka lang sa mga nangyayari with you, or looking like that. But at the end of the day, pag balibalik ta rin man yung sitwasyon, you know, you're gonna pull through this. And huwag ka masyadong matakot. You're already doing a good job at it. All you need to do is just really continue these baby steps that you're doing, accepting something that's new in your life, I wouldn't really be surprised if, you know, this is a separation reading, and then biglang may nakilala kang someone who just really sweeps you off your feet, who just really makes you happy and bubbly, and it's like, you know, somebody you call honeybee, um, but literally just someone who makes you parang, alam mo yung, someone who just makes you really pop, and just, Someone who just basically realizes or gives you that attention that you need when all you've had the past few months is crap. Like, eto mga gulay na to, diba? parang butas-butas sila, parang hello, are you even gonna eat yung ganyang sitwasyon ng gulay? But, um, going back to your reading, um, clearly, Pile number three, just let go of this past that you had. Tapos na siya eh. Or if it's not yet done, then definitely it's gonna happen. Probably that's something that you're being prepared for. If wala kayong nakikita ang separation or loss sa buhay ninyo right now, then definitely this isn't your pile. Kasi very clear dito na whoever picks this pile and is able to resonate with these energies, 
are really dealing with some loss na hindi nila inaasahan. And whatever the situation may be, however you think it's gonna end, lose that control and just continuously, you know, parang just survive each day. And you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised na when things are revealed to you, kung bakit nangyari tong mga nangyaring to, you'll be surprised that there is something that's waiting for you. The Four of Wands is one of the most positive cards. And I know I did say kanina na when I looked at yung parang timer, 11-11 siya. So, and this is your Four of Wands. So, this it's really just an affirmation na, oh, oh, you're dealing with loss right now, pero life kasi talagang paikot-ikot yan eh. You win some, you lose some, and right now you're on the stage na you're losing some. Kasi eventually you will win a whole, whole lot. So, thank you so much. Um, File number three, that's the end of your reading. And I will see you on your next reading. Bye!